Welcome back to Primetime Sports Thursday. The issue of mental health for the West Indies women as they head into the ICC World Qualifiers has come up for discussion. This was revealed by West Indies head coach Courtney Walsh during a press conference on Thursday morning. The West Indies women do not have a mental health professional assigned to the team, but it's something that head coach Courtney Walsh conceded needs to be addressed. The issue of athletes' mental health was thrust forcibly into the spotlight when world number no. 8 Naomi Osaka pulled out of the prestigious Wimbledon tournament earlier this year, citing a need to guard her mental health. Osaka, who subsequently crashed out of the Olympic Games staged in her hometown Tokyo, as well as the U.S. Open and cancelled the subsequent tournaments, was joined by U.S. gymnast Simone Biles and U.S. football star Kristen Press, among others, to announce they were taking a break from the sport they loved due to struggles with mental health. Responding to questions from regional reporters on Thursday morning following the West Indies women's 4-1 loss to South Africa, Walsh revealed that the governing body has plans to address this. We need to probably get a little bit more help in that regard to the mental health coach, but it's something Cricket West Indies is working on as to to get sorted. We have resources that have been in touch and communication has been going on, so that... That's an area no, we're we'll focusing on the health because at this time you need as much help there as you can with the bubble fatigue and with what else is going on. So that is work in progress and it's been dealt with with urgency. So it will be, you know, addressed in short order. And after surrendering the ODI series to South Africa, some pundits have suggested that the players were fatigued. But Walsh disagrees. From a cricketing point of view, I don't think coming back to play so quickly was a bad thing because we haven't played cricket for quite some time. So obviously with the qualifiers coming up, the more cricket or competitive cricket we can play, the better it is for us. The defeat comes ahead of November's ICC World Cup qualifiers in Zimbabwe, but rather than being daunted, Walsh is viewing the series as a critical test. Meanwhile, Jamaican batter Rashada Williams, who emerged as the top run scorer for the West Indies, although playing in only three games, came in for high praise from her coach. But she came up and she put her hand up. She didn't start the series um, you know, in the T20s, but got a chance in the, in the, in the ODIs. And in all the games she played, in, she just put her hand up consistently. And that's what we're trying to get from the rest of the batters. Um, the lack of consistency going through, you know, a one score here or one score there is not going to help us. So she has answered that call and that question in a very positive manner. And not, you could say it was probably the final of the tour, the series really based on what the work we've been doing with her coming up and, you know, the way she, she, she took it. Because if you don't go to the middle and sort of show what can be done, then you'll always be guessing. But she has gone out and played three games and has had sort of three decent par score. So we, we just need to try to build on that.